what I do is my legend and we'll go back to our Pokemon Secret Gold Egg Lock in the last episode we made it for Golden Rock City and uh, we beat Bugsy and pretty cool stuff as you saw that a little bit before the intro uh, we did have an evolution so we're gonna go over the team real quick and boom you automatically see that there is a new member to the team. So I was doing a little thinking and after we did all the hatching yesterday and I leveled up all the, or not yesterday, last time, and I leveled up all the Pokemon, I decided that I really wanted to use the Caesar, mainly because um, I just wanted to use something different because we hatched so many cool Pokemon and the issue is that like I don't get to use new ones really unless they die and I don't really want to keep switching up the team often but I felt like that we could live without Monferno because we have both fire and fighting coverage currently on the squad. So I just felt like that this would work out nicely for us. Anyways, let's start off here with our new friend Saber the uh, the Caesar with Adam and Nature. I gave him the choice banner with Aerial Ace. He learned Metal Claw at level 22 or 21. Uh, I did a little bit of training with him just before this. Uh, I taught him U-Turn and Aerial Ace and he has Night Slash as well. Pretty cool stuff. Next up here we have our modest uh, Alicia the Mischievous holding the King's Rock with Saving, Shockwave, Ominous Wind, and Nasty Plot. We have our Charcoal holding Jad with High Jump Kick, Crunch Blaze Kick, and Swords Dance. So he did evolve. Uh, I only, I just was attacking random Pokemon as I was running back to the uh, Goldenrod Pokemon Center to go level everybody up. I actually don't remember if I did that in Cherry Grove or here in Goldenrod. Doesn't really matter. Anyways, I just attacked a couple random Pokemon. He got to level 23 and he evolved. It kind of surprised me. Um, but I'm glad I was recording. I always record that, that kind of stuff and I'm just running back. In case I like run into a shiny so I have proof that I ran into a shiny which is, which is an awesome thing if it ever happens but I gave him charcoal just because he has blaze kick so that's about it next up we have our sprinkles here with thundershock thunderbolt thunder wave and body slam modest nature and yeah pretty cool stuff it's just a flaffy then we have Rinka here the MVP last episode who uh, held it down against the Scyther in the gym with the rock tomb earthquake headbutt and fake out and then finally we have our starter the ones that you guys chose uh, are far-fetched here with aerial ace revenge night slash and leak blade so pretty stacked we've got a very good squad here uh, I want to see if there's something I can give no we don't really have anything we don't have much to give our Kangaskhan so it's just like it's like what anyways how you doing? How you doing, buddy? Not little, buddy. You're not little at all. Pokemon is looking around restlessly for something. All right, sounds good. Uh, I'm thinking that I just want to go into the gym. I gotta go do the radio card thing. I was gonna do that off screen, but I forgot. So let's just get the radio card. We can do the lottery while I'm here too. I didn't get a match. Oh shucks. Definitely can't live without that. Just dang it. Okay, here we go. Special quiz. Answer five questions. Blah blah blah. Let's do it. Alright, first question, can you check the town map? Ah, uh, yes you can. You're correct. Second question, a Nidorina can only be female? True. Current Pokemon will you Nope, he uses Apricorn, not Apricots. Fourth question, it's possible to use TM on the Magikarp? True. It's the only Pokemon that can't learn Toxic and Protect. Well, I have one more question in popular show. I didn't mean to hit that, I was meaning to click the thing. It's because it's Mary? Okay, thank you. It's Mary with a Y. Bingo, you got it. Congratulations, you surprised. We got the radio card. I, I don't really need that at the moment. Oh my gosh, you did it! The answer to the question was surely apricots. And it's time to go back to the gym. Peace, nerd. So, like, you can talk to this person right here, and you can figure this out. I love Mary from Pokemon Talk. I only know what she sounds like, though. So, that gives you your answer there. And everything else makes no difference. Lullabies on radio are mild Pokemon sleepy. That's why you don't see many Pokemon that lullabies in the tall grass. That's an interesting thing, then I don't even have to spend money on... What do you call them? Anyway. Repels. I don't even know what you're talking about. I wasn't listening. Save the blue card points for choice prizes. Buena, I'm Buena. Do you know the radio show? Maybe you tell me the password and blah, blah, blah. There's a point card. Okay, that's fine, Buena. I'm not... I don't care about the... I just want to play Pokemon. I don't care about some radio quiz show. Move! And over here, this is the GTS, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I cannot turn. Yeah, the global terminal. I actually really like the golden round music when you speed it up. Anyway, we're going to go on here into Whitney's gym. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty confident that we're going to do pretty well in this gym. Um, because we've got six really strong Pokemon. And Caesar here resists literally all of that. And he's got Technician. So Metaclaw's just going to destroy. He's also Choice Banded. Literally... <laughs> This is so good. <laughs>
I'm so glad I brought this Pokemon along. I mean, this is what Monferno would be doing, too. I I just want to... It's just fun to use the Caesar, because Caesar is a cool Pokemon. It's, it's one of my favorite Johto Pokemon, along with Umbreon and... Let's see. Giraffe Rig. I really like Giraffe Rig and Chikorita. There's probably a fifth one in there that I... Cool Lava. There we go. Those are my five favorite Johto Pokemon. And Metal Claw. Goodbye. Munchlax. Okay. Metal Claw. Uh, bye bye I love this Pokemon. I... Freaking Saber, you're so good! Saber is very eager. Oh, you wonder. You're literally laying waste to this gym with your Metal Claw. Man, Technician Metal Claw. Overpowered. Shouldn't let your guard down just because they don't look tough. I mean, no one looks tough to me because I have a Caesar with Metal Claw. That thing had Fire Punch! <laughs> Alright, next up is Eradicate. Um, I'm just gonna heal up, just to be sure. I didn't expect for it to have... I mean, it makes sense. Ice Fang? Nice. Okay. I can't actually attack you now because I'm stuck into... Whatever, so Jet, go. Oh my, that was bad, because he missed the high jump kick. Um, switch it again. Sorry. Oh yeah, by the way, so I ended up getting rid of Headbutt. I, I'm like all over the place in my voice right now. Not voice, but thinking. So Alicia here learned Psybeam. I did mean to switch into her. I meant to check her summary. Anyway, uh, so she learned... Check moves. That's not not you. Go up. Alright, so she learned Psybeam while leveling up. I'm like, alright, I'll give her the Headbutt. Because I didn't really need Headbutt. And I ended up teaching Headbutt to rink over Mega Punch. Um, I'm not even sure what Dunsparce can do to me. I don't... Okay, I was about to say I don't have Paralyzed Seals, but I do. Okay, not good. Alright, Jad won't take anything from this. If two, two health at the second stage. Jad, seriously. It's 90% accurate. How have I missed the first two I've gone for? Yo, that is so dumb. You thought I was weak. I have a Caesar. How can you think I'm weak? Freaking heck. Jad was having a tough time there. Goodbye. And uh, goodbye. It's going to give me so much XP. Sabers are... Dude, I'm not even going to use sa Saber to the gym battle. He's just so strong. The choice band is overpowered, man. I love this. I love having that one just overpowered Pokemon that, like, can easily be defeated, but they just have nothing to it, so he just obliterates competition. And he's only, like, a couple levels higher. Okay, so it ends up Saber's gonna be your big red button for this gym. I'm gonna lead out with Rinka, just because Rinka's strong. Rinka can handle herself. She grows. She owns lots of shit. I really hate the redesign of the gym, in all honesty. Um, it just makes it a lot more difficult to get through it. It's not... It's not like more challenging, it's just irritating to get through in all honesty. Alright, you ready, Whitney? Hi, I'm a Whitney! You see the video tower just now? I was in the Pokemon, so I get into it too. I'm gonna super cute. You wanna battle? I'm winning, I'm good. Yes, we've all heard the tales of your mill tank. I actually never had trouble with the mill tank when I was younger. So this is kinda funny how everyone else did. Anyway, she's gonna lead out with a lick of tongue. We have Rinka here who can fake out. I didn't realize her animation that she actually picks up the kid. If you look at it. Or Joey, I should say. Because she's a kangaroo, so, ha. Okay. Um, I'm gonna just go for Headbutt, because that should be the strongest move for Inka. I really wish I had something to give you, man. Okay. Like, a good item. Like, I want to get the Silk Scarf. I don't remember what we get. I think we get an Ecritique here. You disabled my Headbutt. I'm gonna just Earthquake you then. Goodbye. I'm switching out now. Alright, next up is the Lopity. Okay, I don't know if they made you normal fighting in this game. So I'm going to go into Alicia. This will actually give us a chance because I have Psybeam, so we'll see if Psybeam is super effective or neutral. He's good. Yeah, I think it was actually a fighting type. Alright, I'm going to Nasty Plot up then. Let's go for the Psybeam and see what happens here. Because Alicia should be able to handle like this Wigglytuff. Wow. I didn't do that much. And that's plus two. Heard some confusion. Boom. I'm trying to not speed through the gym battles. If the animations are long. Oh my gosh, I'll take that crit. Alicia, way to go. Alright, if you're going to send in the Lopity, I'm staying in. You're going to send in the Standler. Okay, so I think it is part fighting. 
Um, let's see. Stantler. What do I want to do? I think it might go Intimidate. So I think I'm going to stay in and see what Intimidates me. And then I'll switch into uh, Hinot, I think. Okay. Because I don't really know what this thing can use, and I'm, like, scared of a ground type move or something like that. Hinata's just the best in this situation. Hypnosis. Okay. That's dandy. Zen Headbutt. Okay, can we not? Saber. The big red button. Told you we were gonna, we, we, we would have needed him. See, that just works out perfect. Saber, you the bomb. <laughs> Next up is the Lopany. Alright, so I will actually give uh, Alicia the chance to do this. Alicia deserves it. Alicia can do it. I'm, I really love Miss Rebus. Like, if it only were better, I'd keep it. Like, if I had the Eevee Light, if the Eevee Light exists in this generation, you're gonna withdraw again. You're gonna sit in the Clefable. So, it must be a part fighting type. I don't know, to me, that otherwise that doesn't make much sense. I don't know what you can do, I'm a nasty plot again. You're gonna reflect, that's perfectly fine, because I just upped my special attack. Is Psybeam stronger or not? Yep, Psybeam is a bit stronger, so we'll go with Psybeam. In the end, the, the little bit of HP it'll do differently well, won't matter that much. You're gonna Water Pulse me. Alright, taking that like a champ, Alicia. Let's see how much this side beam. If this side beam is enough to, to KO. Nope. You're gonna water pulse me again. And you get a crit, and I get confused. So I'm just going to heal up. Because uh, that's the best answer. Because I know I can live a water pulse. Even if she hurts herself in confusion, which she did. I can actually live another, but provided she gets another crit, I'm gonna just heal. Thank you for finally snapping out, Alicia. Yeesh, I had to use Super Potion because I was really worried about losing her. Next up is that Miltank. Okay. I need to swap into Jad. Because that rollout is very scary. Now, I don't know what else you get. I, I'm a Swords Dance. You outspeed me. No para, please. No para. Thank you. Alright, let's high jump kick you. You're gonna attract me. Uh-oh. Let's not do this. Come on, Jad. Come on, Jad. It's, I know you like Miltank. I hate it, though. Come on. No! It's actually kind of appropriate, because Jad actually really likes Miltank. And I don't. Come on! And there's the para. Come on. It's only 25% at this point. Man. That is that's so dumb. A crit and a para. Just thanks. You have Scrappy, don't you? Why did I do that? I knew it. I knew it as soon as I swapped in. Because I remember that. I didn't have a ghost type, but I knew it had Scrappy. Um. I'm just... Big red button. Let's do it. He's literally a big red button. Because he's red. And a... And, yeah. That's just a punny... A punny joke. Alright, let's see what Sprinkles can do here. Because I think a Thunderbolt should just hurt. This is their last Pokemon as a Lopany, and I'm two levels higher, so. Hey, just one up, but I ain't losing you here. Well, you can try. You still haven't taken out one of my Pokemon. I'm gonna Thunder Wave you first. Why is my entire team male? Dude. <laughs> Alright, Rinka. Wouldn't you know it? I actually think she swapped because she actually could not touch me. I think that was the that was the that was the reason. Not that it Okay, it's not it's not actually a fighting type. Okay. And goodbye. We did it. Okay, so it didn't have anything to touch me. It had what? We we only saw agility, dizzy punch and and jump kick. I don't know what her last move was. Uh. Yeah, she couldn't cry. Hey, <laughs> meanie! More or less. Oh, shut up. She's just a bitch. Alright, give me the badge. What do you want? We get the plain badge from the cry, baby! 
Okay. Playing about just three Pokemon you strength, you can have this too. I might teach strength to Rinka. We'll see. It's a tract, and I'd rather just sell it. There's Pokathalon Dome. I know. Battling and Pokathalon have literally nothing in common. So the fact that you say, because I'm so good at battling, I should go do it. Doesn't make sense. Stats are random. Isn't, like, Magikarp... Is it Magikarp or Sunken that's, like, the best Pokemon ever in, uh, the Pokathalon? They're, like, terrible in battle, but they have this great Pokathalon stat, so... Anyways, I'll take your Squirt bottle so I can go do all the Squirt Squirts on the... On that Sudowoodo, which will be an encounter. We haven't done the whole northern route, so we'll have all that to do today. I'll try to get to Ecrotique, I think. Depends if I want to just hatch eggs instead of going to Ecrotique. Oh yeah, by the way, I went upstairs and I bought the TM for Dig, and I forgot who it was going to teach it to. But I bought it. <laughs> so we have Dig. Uh, okay, anyway, I just wanted to sell that because I'm never going to use the track. So, let's stock up back on Super Potions. What do you want, Whitney? This is Whitney. How are you? We have been in the Moo Moo Farm. Uh, my Mookie, I mean, my Mill Tank is staying over there now. That's great, Whitney. I don't know why that matters. All right, we're gonna buy full heels. I'm just gonna sell the rest of them and buy full heels because full heels work for everything, like in including infatuation and whatever else, you know. Hey, I had a couple of X items. Never gonna use them, so I'll take that cash. That cash money. <clears throat> I could buy, like, what, 20 if I wanted to? No, I could buy, like, 10 if I wanted to. So I only... Ha I'm gonna buy 5. That'll be enough for now. Yay. If only selling the red candies wasn't cheating. Alright, so basically Saber's not getting any more screen time. <laughs> Mainly because he's too good. I'm not pretty... You wanna know how to listen to radio? You can tell me, just, just to make you feel better, because I know how to do it. Excuse me, I have to deliver this thing. I'm stuck. Here's on that. You can help. Your party's full. Okay, I'll be right back, because this is Kenya the Spearow. And it's a level 20 Pokemon that we can exchange uh, for uh, an egg. And I think, I don't know what I'll trade in. Like, I want to actually give the letter to some Pokemon so that I can give that to him. So I may choose a Pokemon from the depth chart just to make up for it. I don't know who I choose, though. Someone actually wants to see a Fionn later in the game, so I'm gonna bring that to him. I'll take that. We got the Spear with Mail. I know. The weird tree block in the road and whatever. This is the dude that's sleeping right outside Violet City. Anyway, what level is Kenya? Oh, no, it's Ducks this time. Uh, it's written message. Oh, no. What does he even give you? He gives you, like, rest or something like that. So basically what I'm gonna do is before I go uh, actually give the dude, give it to him, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna, like, save out in front of him and see if he actually takes it. I mean, I can leave Saber behind. For now, we're okay. Well, we're gonna be going to Violet City, so never mind. It's good to just have Saber just in case things go awry. And I don't know if Ducks was a name that... What? Please remove the mail. I cannot put it into the PC with the mail. Well, ah, let's hope we don't need Saber. Because I'm going to go this way. Because I just got to beat the Sudowoodo. I don't really feel like running, like, you know, all the way back through Ilex Force and whatnot. Skip Bloom and Hoot Hoot. Perfect. Rinker is level 24. Sprinkles takes that dude out. Combuskin and Noctowl. Alright, so you need to get out of here. Alright, we're gonna side beam the Noctowl and I will Thunderbolt the Combuskin. And goodbye. Good job, team. At least you're level 25. Not bad. Man, I kind of wish I could evolve Alicia. I wish I had a Dust Stone. <clears throat> because there's an, uh, specifically. There are a couple moves Dreano gave, uh, those Pokemon. Or this Miss, Miss Magus. It's like Magical Leaf and Icy Wind and something else while leveling up. Let's try our new Power of Blaze game. Didn't do too much. Okay. And goodbye. Metal Sound. Nah. You only have a, you have a full physical moveset. My boyfriend's weak. Can't rely on him. That's mean. Having the strength of your Pokemon doesn't mean anything about the person. 
That's something I always say when all the, like, the trainers always say, um, like, wow, you're really strong, when all it is is just you fighting my Pokemon and my Pokemon beating you? I need to switch here. Um, I don't know, I don't like that. Because it's not, alright, you can do whatever. I'm gonna just revenge. Sweet. <laughs> Goodbye. Six again. I'm gonna just aerial ace you and just get out of here because I don't need I don't need revenge to beat you. There's a juggler. Do they all have aftermath? Another roll torp. And goodbye. Charge. Don't give up on charge. Actually, I will I will forget thunder shock for that. Because charge could come in the clutch, you never know. I don't really know what you could do to me physically, so I'm just gonna... <clears throat> Heal up Sprinkles, Spark. Interesting. Alright, I'm gonna body slam you. There we go. And Aftermath. Sure! I don't... I'm actually not... Im not against getting the phone numbers of the people. Sometimes, like, Lyra thing with her... with her Meryl. Um, which I haven't actually said what it is, but I don't know. It's, it's, it's funny. Sometimes what they say isn't that big of a deal. It's like, those that call me all the time, did I get Youngster Joey's number? If not, I'll have to do that. Because Joey likes to call a lot. <laughs> Talk about that top percentage of a tata. Alright, a Magmar. That's fine. You can lower my accuracy. I'm not Thunderbolt you twice. Swingle goes to level 26. Oh, yes. Well, okay. What do you think of Farfetch'd? Pokemon looking restlessly for some. Whatever. Alright, so we're gonna get our encounter here on whatever this route is. It's a Nidoran. I'm gonna leave play you. Because even a crit, I. Alright, a crit would kill you from this range, so I'm not even gonna do that. There we go. Alright, fight me, bug catcher. I'll go have any more bug Pokemon up here that are. I don't know where that to be. Alright, I've been in that. Aerial Ace. Goodbye. Agility? Nah. Nah. Oh, nope. Let's do it. I didn't mean to deny you. I was just holding B so I could run. A Moonstone. Interesting. I don't have a Pokemon that needs that yet. It was July. Payback. All right, very interesting. I don't want to. I didn't mean to go in my bag. I want to go to Pokemon's. That was a long run without encountering Pokemon. I don't have a cup Pokemon now. Oh, he removed the tree. Thank you, Dreyano. I appreciate that. All right, we're on Route 36 now. We can get an encounter here. We can also get an encounter in the National Park. I just wanted to go fight the pseudo widow. Please don't kill it. I didn't mean to attack it. Well, that sucks. I wasn't paying attention. I was thinking that I was fighting a trainer. So, all right. Anyway, and goodbye. You're no match for Rinka. Nah, I, I like Headbutt better. Alright, you ready, Jed? We're gonna go fight a Sudowoodo. Jed's looking around restlessly at the forest. Okay. I'm gonna flower steps for you. Listen, when I sprinkle water on the wicked tree, jump right up. This has to be a Pokemon. So that's the squirt bottle. Soak the tree. I wanna see what happens. Okay. Odd tree, use the squirt bottle. Odd tree attacked. So if I don't end up catching the Sudowoodo here, it will, it will come back because it's an event Pokemon. I can crunch you not, yeah, that does nothing. Well, it does do something, but you know what I mean. Okay, um, I really hope you don't have a ground type move. I'm going to the Sprinkles. You have rock though, that hurt. Oh, I got immediately scared because that did so much damage to Sprinkles. And I just did not think it through. All right, let's go for a Great Ball. Level 25 encounter. That'll be like literally up to par with the entire squad. Waboom! Nice! That went simple. Way simpler than I thought it was gonna be, that's for sure. Though it pretends to be a tree, something rather, give me a nickname to the cot Sudwoda. And no. That was fun, I wanna give you this, friend. It really wasn't fun. I don't care about the berry pots. Alright, we are back in Le Voilet City. Primo the Big Brother. Okay, uh, I'm going to just do bye bye. That's how we do it around here. Bye bye. Truly, that gives me all new energy. Great feedback. I mean, I, I literally just said bye bye four times. 
I feel like reading a submerged on a piece of paper. Head over the Pokemon holding the mail. Let's see, thank you for your mail, it was such an exciting adventure. I did not like Zubat though, that's what it says. When's our kid the other day with a friend that keeps and another? I must thank you for being so kind. Give you something good. Alright, that's rest, yep. Do I get the Pokemon back? Yeah, okay, so I'm glad I checked that, because I want the encounter. I would rather have the encounter over rest, because rest is pointless. Well, it's not pointless, it's good for other things, but not good for this. Hey, Joey, I need your number. Thanks, Joey. Okay, so I took the mail off the Pokemon. So I wonder. Let's see, let's read this. Thank you, adventure was fun, wasn't it? Zubat was the one thing I wanted to avoid. I got a thing from Lyra. Adventure excited! I love Pokemon! Thanks, Lyra. You're the best. <laughs> okay, so we have currently three Pokemon. We'll be able to get another couple encounters. So that'll be nice. Welcome back to the team, Saber. Thanks for just keeping the bench warm. So what I think I'll do is I'll get all of my encounters and we'll go to Ecrateek. Oh, I forgot about you. Um, I don't. I think we'll go to Ecrateek in like the next episode. I'm not one to like put off stuff, but I like doing every other episode of gym. And at this point in the game, things get run together very quickly. So, you know what's funny is uh, S Saber is no longer like over leveled compared to the rest of the squad. Let's see. Today is Sunday. So, the National Park, uh, they don't have the the contest today. Oh, so you know what's funny is I remember I went through all the trouble to get uh, a shiny stone from the, whatever you call it, the, the Pokathlon Dome, because I wanted to evolve my, uh, my, toga, my Togetic into a Togekiss. And then I came and I did the bug catching contest in the same episode, and I won first place and got a shiny stone. So I spent all that time and I got, I was still, I still, I got two shiny stones. Anyway, this is our encounter here. It's Sunker, and of course it is, so I can't actually touch it. There we go, that's fine. Let's fight. Hello, why are you staring at me? I wasn't. You, you, you're the one who walked up to me. I probably should have come here, like, a lot earlier, because these guys are so underleveled compared to me. You think I'm cool? How about you exchange phone numbers? Sure. Don't worry, you can call me anytime. Okay. Only one Pokemon store with you in the Pokewalker. I lost my Pokewalker. Um, I got a used version, but I ended up getting a, a Pokewalker anyway, so that was pretty cool. Pokemon is so cute. Sure. I would always add everybody, because I wouldn't, wouldn't care. Talking about Meryl? We'll go get um, Lyra's Dust Mop. This guy says he knows more than I do. Mm-hmm. What about tight matchups? You're just goodbye. There is nothing you can salvage from this. Did you? Did, what did you use? Copycat? Thanks. Your knowledge is impressive. I mean, I literally just used Psybeam like five times. Pay attention. I have to quit thinking like a teacher. Thanks for the quick claw. Did I get a dig? I don't remember if I did. No one you least expect. I'm Cameron the photographer. I did not get dig, I remember. Dig's on the other side. So let's see. Did this all work out? Is everyone in a good position? Hey! That actually worked out fairly nicely. I'm going to swap around Caesar and Sprinkles. Because that means Caesar will be behind me. Caesar's the biggest. So, hey, look at that. I love when the pictures work out. It's so nice. Okay, I believe there's one more trainer I haven't fought. Enough, I didn't mean to run and get the encounter. I need to actually take a leash out of the front because she's already at level 26. Everyone's already caught up to Saber. That's how fast this game goes. I encountered a Pokemon right before he saw me, so that's funny. I'm just gonna realize you because why not? These are Pokemon even if they dislike us. Okay. That shouldn't just be a Pokemon fan, that should be literally everybody. I'm a revenge. And Leap Blade. I gotta probably just leap later from the start and been just fine. So, cool. What do you have to say? Huff puff, I'm out of breath. I've been running to try to charge the Poke Walker. I mean, you can literally just shake it in your hand. No. Now we have another dig TM. But that's really, really nice that you could buy, you can buy dig, roost, and U-turn. 
was that the other one you could buy? You could buy three TMs in the shop, in the, the department store, so that was, like, very good, because I was able to get a couple things that, like, because <clears throat> TMs are one-time use in this, in this game, so, on this generation, I should say. I might change my in-game clock and do the bug, bug catching contest, and then we'll exchange eggs. You give me, like, brick break, don't you? These things may, may not be bricks, but I'll give you some to break bricks with. Oh yes. If I can give that to my... What are you, whatever you call it, this little dude behind me, my farfetch, then I will. Because that'll be better than revenge, because revenge makes me go second. Yay, it can. Beautiful. Alright, Route 37, we get another encounter here. This is what I love about this game, is like, you get so many encounters. That's why it's so good for an egg lock. Wow. That was, that did a ton of damage. That just shows you how good Hinata is. Give a nickname to Kyle Growlithe. Nah. Alright, I'll battle those trainers on the next episode. I don't feel like battling them right now. I'm gonna change my game clock to Saturday. Alright, I'm gonna put Sprinkles up front, because Sprinkles has Thunder Wave, and that'll be really nice to have. Hey, Saturday, means what catching got dice. Those are simple. I'd like to give it a try. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'll have to use Sprinkles. Fine. Thanks. Yay. So I get to keep the last Pokemon, so I feel like it counts as another encounter. We'll see what you guys think. That is a high level Pokemon. Oh. Okay, got the Wurmple. So I just wanted to catch it because that thing is very high level. Level 44 in this world! Oh my gosh, I can. I caught it. Alright, that works. Yes. Elamidus is probably worth more points. Let's see. S Cascoon, meh. I can't actually heal my Flappy. That sucks. If Flappy gets knocked out in the contest, it doesn't actually count as a death. Because that'd be unfair. This is just for sport. I got a level 34 Elamidus. I think that's probably as best as I'm gonna get. I. Okay, if you're gonna keep morning sunning, let me go up. Jeez. Just thunderbolting, get you out of here. Alright, there we go. I blacked out, and that's the end of the competition. So, let's see what happens. Now, just the Pokemon you got. Chosen the winners, you ready? Third is Alkyum, who caught a writhing enemy, is at level 34. 34 points. Next fan is Pokemon William, who got a Venonat. I'll bet you the winner had a Caterpie. And the bed catch contest is Ed, who caught a Wiping Scyther. Never mind. You definitely deserve to win if you were able to find a Scyther. My thing did not last long enough. Th wins a Citrus Berry. Great. I really love that in the National Park thing. They have this in the... <laughs> okay, I guess it's later in the song. But when they scroll up and down the piano with all the keys, I love that. What about Bug Catching Gajas with Bug Type Reaches? You cannot take bug types. Bug types are great. This one you least expect it. Let's do it. Sure, why not? That dude better not be in the picture. Okay, that still worked out. Alright, since we have a PC right here, we can go ahead and do what we need. So I'm going to search up a random number generator. Okay, so we have a bunch of encounters to trade out. We have a total of six. That always happens. We just get so many. Alrighty then. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take out most of the Pokemon in my party just so I can do this more efficiently. Can I drag and drop? I can. Good. Glad they introduced that in this generation. Alright, we'll get the Illumius in a minute. So let's see, where are we at? We're on box 10. Okay, so the number we're going to get is 21. 21. Okay, so we have Eren. Interesting. Depending on the Pokemon, I may keep that name. But you're going to be level 25. Alright, so next up 20, excuse me. Is it 20 or 25? I just need to double check because I can't remember. Because I'm bad. Level 20. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what it was in the original games, except it was named Kenya. Alright, so next up we have 14. You'll be a level 18. And your name, you have nothing. <laughs> there's a po there's someone here, Bulbasaur? With a Master Ball. I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw out the Master Ball because I don't need it. If I can sell it, I'll do that. So, anyway, you're going to be a level 18, whatever you are. Next up, we have trading out for our level 25 Sudowoodo. What are we at? 15. Alright, works for me. 
you are. Okay, you don't have an you don't have a name anyway. None of them have, or I mean, item. I I keep trying to say item. All right. Next up we have is twenty eight. Swap you for the sun current, and the sun current is level eighteen. Okay. And the last, you have a Rossberry. I'm gonna take that. Except not because I don't care. It's a Rossberry. I can do that when we get items anyway. So you are a level twenty one Growlithe. And you will be exchanged for a 25. I should... Okay. We'll, we'll move items, and I can check then if the last egg I grabbed had an item. It did! And it had a dragon scale. Is this gonna be another... Yeah, I'll take that, because I already have another horsey. But if this is gonna be another horsey, it's gonna be dupes again. Which would suck. Alright, first egg. Let's hope this is the actual first one. This will be level 20. It's a Rylu. Damn it! I love Rylu, but it's dupes. Alright. What's this next egg here? It's a Zangoose. Very interesting. Shiny Zangoose sprite doesn't look that great in this game. Alright, so we're gonna give you a nickname. I'm going to go back to the video. This is actually a female. Someone commented something. Uh, Skyla. That was what they commented. I don't remember exactly the, their name. They commented on two videos, but I appreciate you commenting. I'll check that out. I'll, I already I replied to both your comments, so I appreciate that. Anyways, uh, you sold me a name Pokemon Skyla. This is a female Pokemon, so let's do it. Alright, so let's check out Skyla here. You're going to be level, what? You were 18, right? You were in place of the Nidoran. So you're timid, but Scrouge, so you're double hit and Night Slash. Very interesting ability to have a timid nature rather than a jolly nature. But, nothing I can do about that. So, I should, you know, write that down. Oh, I forgot. We have more eggs. <laughs> this will be for the Sudowoodo, I think. It's a Metatype. Yo, let's go. The Metachain will be a very, very interesting Pokemon. Uh, it may get, re it might replace a Pokemon that we have um, if, like, a, one of our fighting types if it ends up dying. Okay, so, someone here, uh, Jinghai, I really appreciate you commenting, you, I'm gonna name the Pokemon after you, because I just feel that actually works really nicely, considering Metacham is a martial arts Pokemon, not Zhang, Jing, hi. Alright, thank you very much for commenting on the video, I appreciate it. Alright, so next up we have, let's check out our Jinghai here. It is an adamant nature, of course, Fire Punch, Psycho Cut, Ice Punch, Slutter Buzz, you're gonna be so fun to use. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm pretty sure you're the level 25 one too. Alright, what's up next? This one is also level 18, wasn't it? And then 21. So, it's a Bulluag! Alright, what's gonna be your nickname? Do we have someone else I can name this after? Alright, some dude named Tanner commented on the last episode, so I appreciate that. I will name you, uh, no, name this Bulluag Tanner. Tanner! It's a male, so it works. Sweet, let's check out our little buddy here. Our new Polo Wag. Of the quirky nature will both be mind reader and Ende endeavor. Very interesting amount of, or very interesting moves. For so I want to double check and make sure that the third egg was a pseudo widow. It was. Okay. I just wanted to double check and make sure I wasn't getting things wrong. So this will be the last egg we have right here. This will be level 21, so we're going to have to rehatch the Ryalu egg. Um. And depending on what this is, I, kn I knew it was going to be a horsey. So we're going to rehatch that egg too. That sucks. Nope, I didn't want to give you a nickname. That's my third horsey. I only kept the other one because it died. And my first one died because I'm bad at this game. See, speaking of which, there's that's That's there. It's about to get Okay. Anyway, let's check you out. Just because. Why not? You're not even signal beam, dragon major, war beam, muddy water. Very nice. I think you're the same as the other one, except you just have a worse nature, so... I was about to dump these guys in the, the dead box to be released, but... Only start releasing after I really need to. I needed to save space, so I moved a crap ton of stuff around. Okay, so first off, we're gonna re-exchange this... Ryalu, sadly. As much as I love Ryalu, I have a Lucario already on my team, so... Egg number 19 is what we're gonna be exchanging for. What is this? Okay. We don't know. 
And then the final box we had a Pokemon in was this one here. So, um, what will be the number we generate here? It'll be 24, we already did that. Uh, I just want to have something different each time. Alright, 29 was the egg we got, so we'll- nope, not church. <laughs> church. Uh, you can tell I've been watching that, so your name is SPINNERACK in all caps. I wonder, could you possibly not be a SPINNERACK? Anyway, let's put these guys here in the PC. Um, I'll get these guys leveled up off screen. And yeah, as I said, I did level everyone up off screen, so we have now a Krokona. And we have, yeah, and I named him Parzavani, I remember to change his name. And then Paul here, Il Ilomize, I always pronounce that wrong while we're at it. So we'll go here to box 15, and the final egg for today will be egg number 8. Alright, I don't think any of these have items, they do not, and none of them have names. So I have no, well, actually one of them has the name SPINNERACK in all caps. This is the one I, I believe I exchanged for the Ryalu. It's a Skarmory! Very nice. I actually don't know which one that is, so I don't want to mark that down yet. I just realized that the the Ilumi, Ilumise was th level 34. So we're going to have a Pokemon that's stronger than the rest of our team. We're going to name you. Yeah, I don't really know what I want to name you yet. You know, this name works perfectly, so we're going to be naming this guy 707. Because Electric Gaming 707 has commented on a couple episodes, and I appreciate that. But... It kind of works because it's like, like a plane model. I always, I always name these guys Southwest. So, anyways, you were the first one. Uh, you weren't in place of the spin rack, so you were in place of uh, the Riley. So we have Skarmory. That'll be nice if I need a flyer in the future. Careful nature, Brave Bird, Curse, Whirlwind, assur assur Assurance with Rockhead. Nice. I'm excited actually. 707. That'll be really cool actually. Alright, next up is the egg named Spinnerack. I'm pretty sure that's the egg that is hatching next. And it's indeed a Spinnerack. Okay, so I want to go back to our Golden Silver Soling and see what I name my area as. Because there's no one else I can really name any Pokemon after. You know what? Since Jad has a new name on YouTube, we're going to name him Crestfallen. I think that'll work. I like it. We're going to name him Crestfallen and get rid of the T, because it all works. Uh, just because I want to I wanna fit Fallen in there. We Alright, we have Crestfallen, the spinner act. Let's check him out. So you're an animate nature, signal beam, poison sting, string shot, and insomnia. Not too bad. Alright, I'm excited, because I love spinner act. Um... It's, it's adorable. It's shiny. is great. Alright, so what's going to be our final encounter? The level 34 Pokemon. A Nidoran female. It's kind of perfect, actually, because we did get the Moonstone in this episode. So I'm going to name you Hestia. Because this, is, this will become a super, super Hestia. And if you don't get that reference, go back to our Emerald Soul Link with Jad. I don't even remember what episode it is. I, th I named the episode Super Hesty, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, let's check out our Hesty here. Brave Nature, with beat up Skullbash, Supersonic, and Charm. Not bad. And Rivalry. Doesn't Rivalry... suck against, like, your... the people... the Pokemon of the same gender? Anyway. Interesting moveset. Not much, really, on the cards, but... Hey! That's some really cool Pokemon. That's that's all that's that's the best part. It's just having these cool Pokemon that I'm able to use. So it's gonna be a very very high level Nidoran female. It'll be a while probably before I evolve it. I can I'm like losing my train of thought. It's late. I'm also just happy. I'm excited excited with these Pokemon. The issue is I want to use so many different Pokemon, but I just like can't. I don't have enough room. So there's something because um, obviously we still do have two fighting types. So fighting may be something I get on the docket to get rid of. Maybe Rinka, but I really like this Pokemon because it's been so clutch for us. Flaffy's got kind of a, a monotone moveset, and I have the electric move on Alicia here, which I really want to keep. And I'm in love with Saber. This thing was so good today. Um, so anyways, yes, yeah, so that's what we're doing in this episode, guys. I really enjoyed it. Do like, especially in the next episode, we'll be doing the 
Route 37 will be going out to Ecritique City. I don't think I'll be challenging Morty in that episode. Because he's having two gyms back to back. So that will give me to what? Episode 7 to challenge the gym? Something like that. It's either going to be episode 7 or 8. I don't remember what episode this is. So, anyway. If you've enjoyed this episode, guys, if you did like, subscribe, make sure to subscribe for more. And I'll talk to you all later.